Praise be to the name of the Lord. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Indeed, it is such a joy for me to be part of Donless Pulpit once again, especially for the series on Women's Wednesday. In this series, we have been discussing about the life of Ruth since past two weeks, and the series has been entitled as Ruth, a life story from curse to divine purpose. Ruth, a life story from curse to divine purpose. In the first session, we began with the historical background of the story of Ruth and then focused on the personal qualities of the Ruth based on chapter 1. And from there, we identified Ruth as a woman of discernment, a woman of adherence and a woman of determination. So she has found favor in the eyes of the Lord, irrespective of where she belonged to. Her discernment, her adherence, and her determination enabled her to make the first step to enter into the divine purpose of God. The unshakable vow she made to Naomi, her mother-in-law, to stick to and follow Naomi, her God Yahweh, and her people Israelites is what we discussed in the last session of this series. Instead of going back to her people and gods, she chose Naomi, Yahweh, and Israelites. Naomi could decide no more than the solemn declaration Ruth made. The power of resolution of Ruth silenced the temptation from Naomi. Ruth clinched her resolutions with a solemn oath in which she sweared by the name of the God of Israel. Even though it was not easy for Ruth to leave everything of her own behind, Ruth still chose to follow Naomi, her people, and her God. No persuasion convinced Ruth to turn back to her people and gods. Story of Ruth serves as an example for every Christian on following Christ, and from there we discussed on what does the following necessitates from the life of Ruth. And we identified that following necessitates commitment, following necessitates courage, and finally following necessitates relinquishment. In the following story, we could see that Naomi, along with her daughter-in-law Ruth, returned to Bethlehem, the house of bread. They entered the land empty-handed, not knowing what is going to happen next in their life. It is said that once Naomi with her family left their place and now had to come back to the same land without her husband and sons. The only comfort Naomi had is the presence of Ruth in her life. When they came back, the whole town got stirred because of them. Naomi herself declared to all the people of that land not to call her Naomi again as she witnessed unexpected bitter situations in her life. She was unable to accept the very reality that she was asking God or why the Almighty dealt harshly with her and brought calamity upon her. There remained no hope within the life of Naomi. But Ruth was different in her perspective. Ruth felt something different as she chose to surrender under Yahweh, the God of Israel. She could realize that it was not the end of the story, but God has kept something in store for them. With that, she maintained a positive attitude in her life, as we could see in the remaining story of Ruth. Now, let us see further how the Almighty God transformed her life according to the divine purpose as she chose to follow the God of Israel. And it is such a wonder how God placed things in her life for the fulfillment of divine promise in the life of Ruth. Firstly, it was right time. It was right time. It is written in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 22 as, They came to the Bethlehem 
at the beginning of the barley harvest. The time of harvest is the right time and the Almighty God destined for her. God, being planned for her to be part of His covenant, kept the time of harvest for her to enter into the land of Israel. Irrespective of all the pain she went through, God made a divine plan for her at His own time. Seeing the beginning of the story where Ruth and Naomi had to suffer various losses in her family, there was no more hope left. If that losses didn't happen in the family, there was no way Ruth could get opportunity to get into the land of Bethlehem. If everything seemed to be happy and good in the family, Ruth and Naomi should not have come to the house of bread. But the God had a plan, a different plan, in spite of pain and suffering in their life. And all these things happened in its own right time according to the divine plan of God, so that the divine promise in the life of Ruth will be fulfilled. If the time they came was during the famine, it would have added more pain to Ruth and Naomi. But the Almighty God made it happen at the very right time, that is the time of harvest. Secondly, it was the right place. It was right place. It is written in the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verses 3 that, So she went. She came and gleamed in the field behind the reapers. As it happened, she came to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was of the family of Elimelech. This was clearly depicts that the place Ruth was the right place. It may seem to be coincidence, but this was also under the divine plan of the Almighty God. Being Naomi and Ruth back to the land of Bethlehem, they had to start everything from the very beginning. So for their livelihood and to earn income, Ruth decided to do the work. As we see in the story, with the permission of Naomi, Ruth went out for seeking favor to work in any field in their place. There were many fields ready for the harvest, but it happened that she came to the field of boss itself which is the right place God destined for her, for the fulfillment of divine purpose in her life. There were plenty of fields in the land of Bethlehem. Ruth could have gone to any other fields, but God made it happen to make her enter into the field of Boaz. If she would have entered any other field other than the field of Boaz, it would have been difficult. Being new to the place was very uneasy for her, but God helped her to reach the right destination. Ruth could only realize that when Naomi told her that the field she entered of Boaz, he is a kinsman of Elimelech. And finally, it was the right person. It is written in the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, that Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young woman. Keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped and follow behind them. I have ordered the young men not to bother you, if you get thirsty, go out to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. It was such a surprise and shock for Ruth to hear these words from Boaz, the owner of that field. She being an outsider, a Moabite woman, it was so difficult to find favor in the eyes of people. But God made Ruth find favor in the eyes of the Boaz. Boaz treated her well as he got aware of what Ruth done for her mother-in-law Naomi 
since the death of her husband and of her strong determination, leaving her father, mother, her people and gods to follow Naomi, Yahweh, the God of Israelites and the people of Israel. If Ruth would have gone to any other fields in the land of Bethlehem, there would have been no chance for Ruth to meet Boaz. But God, according to his divine plan, made Ruth to enter into the field of Boaz and made her known to Boaz. And the rest was the fulfillment of divine purpose in the life of Ruth. As we have discussed, we could see God's providence in the life of Ruth, who was outside the covenant of God. God prescribed her to make part of his covenant and people for which God arranged everything accordingly. It seems that Ruth had to face the pain and struggle of the tragic loss happened in her family and there was no possibility of even a ray of hope. She could have stayed with her parents, people worshipping their gods. But she chose to be with and follow Naomi, her God and her people. And that very strong determination changed her life, leading to the fulfillment of the divine purpose of God in her life. God having divine plans for the life of Ruth, God made her enter into the land of Bethlehem at the right time. God made her to enter the very field of Boaz, which is the right place. And finally, God made her to meet Boaz, the right person for Ruth. Now looking into our own life, God has divine purpose for each one of us. Often by experiencing difficulties, hardship, pains and struggles in our life, we doubt the very divine purpose God kept for us. Irrespective of our hopelessness through the life of Ruth, God wants us to be reminded that God will fulfill the divine purposes in our lives, no matter what. Situations in our life may seem uncertain, but our God is certain and His promises are yes and amen. God always work in our life unexpectedly, at the weakest moment in our life. God being the author and finisher of our faith, God will make it happen in right time, at right place and with right person as we observed in the life of Ruth. So God being the author and finisher of our faith, God will make it happen in right time, at right place and with right person. Let us continue to keep trust in God and hope for the fulfillment of divine purpose in our lives. The life of Ruth reminds us to be hopeful in our hard times and wait upon the fulfillment of promises in our life. May the Almighty God enable us for the same. God bless us all. Amen.